Shouldn't be. No? Of course you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Come on in. I never thought I would be doing something like this ever, ever. I still am not sure it's actually happening, <laughs> but it is. Talk to me about what brought you in to see me. It was me that drove it in. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, um, I've been having problems with erectile dysfunction, um, delayed uh, ejaculation, uh, and even just getting hard, staying hard. Um, I went to the doctor, I did all of the blood work and all of the everything to know that it's not just a physical, um, you know, it's not a health issue that, that, that I've identified. I've tried getting a prescription for a medication that doesn't work very well. I still have a limp way more than I want. I feel your frustration. I work with clients all the time who struggle with erectile dysfunction and it is incredibly common. Up to 40% of men in their 40s deal with ED and it actually only increases as they age. Bad diet, diabetes, cardiovascular disease can all cause erectile dysfunction, but so can stress, PTSD, anxiety, and performance pressure. You've thought a lot about what prevents you from getting and keeping and maintaining and what, what, what affects your erectile flow. Sure. And I wanna hear what is your working hypothesis on why you don't get erect when you want to? Can I get charts and graphs out? I've got them in my, no. I, do you have any spreadsheets? I think the problem is I have a disconnect between my largest sexual organ, my brain, and my body. So there'll be a TV on in the background in some other room or something like that and it just pulls me out. And, and as soon as that string gets pulled, the whole thing unravels. And you experience this? Did you see this happen to him? Yeah. And I'm thinking in my head, what can I do to help you just be here? Not in here, but just here. Yeah. And I don't know. You know, I know that the issues are, are here and here, and I want to be in more control of that. And ironically, erections are like shy cats. Mm -hmm. the same as orgasms, right? Like the harder that we chase them, the harder that they are mm -hmm. to find. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that a client comes to me with strictly physical erectile dysfunction. Almost always there's some internal work that he needs to do in order to regain his erections. But there are some simple things that we can look at first. I have a, a clip actually that I think is perfect to bring forward right now. Prior to my first meeting with them, I asked my clients to put cameras in their bedrooms so that I can review the footage and point out things that maybe they don't notice in the heat of the moment. I'm feeling a little bit of an out-of-body experience. I feel like a voyeur watching myself, which is super weird. In Ben and Annie's bedroom footage, the first thing that I notice is the dog. Anything that enters into the bedroom, whether it's a dog, a cell phone, a television, a kid, a newborn, you name it, it is a distraction from the couple's erotic experience together. With that kind of interruption, anyone would have trouble maintaining their erection. This is practically a threesome. You have got to get the dog out of the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> I love Daisy, and I want to be inclusive of everything that Annie loves, but the dog's gotta go. Mm -hmm.